Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the metering modes in your Olympus camera. Olympus has included a very sophisticated metering system in their cameras. And uh, basically what it's trying to do is measure the light or the brightness of the scene, then calculate the exposure and take the picture. And, uh, you know, we're not going to be talking about exposure in general in terms of like ISO and shutter speed and uh, aperture because I still want the camera to do most of the heavy lifting for you. This video is really about how the camera measures the light in the different modes. And it's most about where it's measuring the light. Uh, now, Olympus has included five different metering modes and they are ones called the digital ESP mode, which is essentially the camera uh, tries to recognize the scene, like if it's a landscape or maybe a portrait or you know a sunset, and then adjust the exposure accordingly to try to give you the best image. Uh, you know, I wouldn't rely on that too much. You know, uh, it's, it does okay. I mean, the lighting's fairly even. The default digital ESP mode is fine and it, it does a good job for the most part but don't rely on it exclusively. Uh, then the next metering mode is called the uh, uh, center weighted metering. Sorry about that. Uh, basically that's that's just measuring most of the light that's at the center of the, the frame and then it, it takes into account the rest of the frame to a lesser degree. So that's been around for a long time. It goes all the way back to our film days and most cameras uh, do center weighted metering uh, back in the old days. Now, now that we have digital cameras, we have all these other options available. So the next metering mode is what they call spot metering. It is trying to just measure one little spot in the frame, roughly 2% uh, of the light in one little spot and then adjust the exposure based on that one spot. And I'll demonstrate that when we do a couple of sample pictures. Now I've picked this scene here in my dining room because it, it's really going to exaggerate the uh, uh, metering modes in the camera because I have a very bright window here and then I'll just be sitting here at this table uh, <clears throat> where I'll be, you know, relatively dark compared to the rest of the scene. So let's go ahead and look at the back of the camera now. And uh, we'll start with the default setting, digital ESP. All right, so let's just take a note of the settings in the camera by default. Uh, looking at the back of the screen, we're in aperture priority. I'm at f5.6 and I have ISO on auto. And if we go into the super control panel, you'll see that uh, I'm just going to use a self timer here, custom self timer with auto white balance. But right here is your metering modes. And let me click OK here. And you can see that it tells you it's an ESP mode. And one other thing here in the super control panel is I want you to note that the face detect or face priority is off. All right, let's take a picture here and, and we'll get exactly what we're expecting, right? I'm going to be too dark. This, this is a very common problem uh, with a lot of uh, beginning photographers. So let's just let's just do a picture like this, and you'll you'll see what I mean. And if we look at this, yeah, I'm too dark. I mean, the picture's okay, but this is not what I was going for. But ESP, like I said, it tries to calculate the scene. And based on what it saw here, this is what it came up with. But it does have a trick up its sleeve. And that's with if I turn on face detect. And we'll just do face detect with eye priority. Now what the camera is going to do is it's going to try to expose for my face if it sees it. And it should be able to. This is a relatively simple scene. And let's take a picture here and see how that looks. And if there's any difference. Okay, and yeah, definitely a big difference. Let's look at the previous picture. I'm way too dark. And then in here, I am properly exposed. So digital ESP does have this trick up its sleeve where if it detects the face and you have face priority on, 
it will try to expose for the person's face. So that's, that's a nice little feature I don't think a lot of people talk about, and it's something you can use uh, in your photography when you're doing portraits. All right, now let's look at the next metering mode, and this is a relatively simple one. And let's turn uh, face detect off. Not that it matters, because in center weighted metering, it's always going to look at the center and then adjust slightly outwards. Let's take a picture here. And I might be out of focus because I turned uh, face detect off, but let's take a look at that one. And yeah, that's very similar to the original, but a little bit better because what it's doing is it's just looking in the center here and then not taking into account as much of this over here or in the edges of the frame. But just to show you, let's turn face detect on and this should not make any difference. And as you can see, when you're in center weighted metering, face detect being on or off won't make any difference in the exposure. It's only going to help you with the uh, autofocusing. So face detect still works, but not in terms of exposure, only in terms of focus. So we'll just leave it on from here on out. Now let's go on to spot metering. Now this may be very difficult to see, but there's a little circle right in the center that tells you where the camera is going to be looking or metering for the light. And right now it's metering for just the white wall. But if I tilt the camera up, you can see that now it's metering for the window. And then I can move back down. Now it's metering for the wall again. And then if I move this over here to my cabinet, you can see that it's now metering for the cabinet and then everything else is overexposed. So what I'll do is for this picture, I'm going to meter right here in the center where I'll be sitting and take a picture here. So the camera is not going to meter until it actually tries to take the picture. It may have been on my white shirt a little bit, but let's see how it did. Yeah, not bad. You can see that it did expose properly. If I raise this up a little bit off of my white shirt, let me do that. My face was about here. Let me double check. Yeah. Right, right near the top of the chair. Now you'll notice the spot metering is thinking uh, it's too bright, but let's let's take a picture. And look there. Yeah, and now it has metered properly for my face. Now, because I'm on a tripod and by myself, you know, I didn't uh, compose this the way I wanted. You know, the composition is not what I wanted. So what you would normally do is you would uh, half press on the shutter button, lock the exposure, and then recompose. If I take a picture here, whoops, let me get out of self timer. Uh, let's see. And this is, this is where self timer, or I'm sorry, spot metering really helps is you can meter here then recompose the picture like so and take a picture and you can see that the chair is properly exposed it's not metering where i moved off to because i'm half pressing the shutter button i'll show you one more time i have pressed the shutter button then i recompose and i take the picture and that's you know, that's where spot metering is really helpful if you're really, you know, in tricky lighting situations like this one. All right, so that's it for the metering modes. And uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks again for watching.